After a spin-off episode of the series, we are back for the grind, and it hasn't really been that long, maybe like at least one month, right? So we're finally back at playing Forsaken AR for a week, part 2. Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video of me wanting to kill myself I mean, to a new video of me losing my sanity. So by this point I'm pretty sure y'all know how this series works, if you don't, I encourage you to watch my previous videos, but here's a quick explanation if you don't want to. I have 5 days to play Forsaken AR, I'll send from my main account some animatronics, to my second account, and I'll try to get as much items as possible, including plush suits, CPUs and skins. I don't care about colored icons. By the way, whenever I get a new item this sound will play. And this will be the icon indicating I got a suit, skin, CPU, an icon. And I obviously have some rules here. I'm not allowed to get suits from salvages or from the store, everything must be obtained by fighting the animatronics. The first fight I do for a skin or animatronic must be with their respective CPU, so if I fight Flaming Springtrap, the first fight has to be with the Springtrap CPU. I'm not going after anything released after Funtime Foxy, so I won't be getting Chocolate Freddy, Chica, Totem Panic, and so on. So now that we have the rules established, let's get this video going, but before that, wholesome moment. I want to take this moment to thank every single one of you for the support y'all have been giving me since my very first video, even though my videos aren't the best when it comes to quality. I'm extremely surprised that people find them funny, thank you all so much, seriously, from the bottom of my heart. So now, let's get to the challenge, grab some snacks, get comfortable and watch how my sanity decays with this video. We're back at it again, here is my plan, I want to get every single animatronic, not including bosses, I'm only missing a few, so I'm going to be focusing on their CPU and suit. Once I'm done with them, I'll start with the skins. And I first wanted to fight Mangle, and to my surprise, someone else sent me a Mangle, a huge shout out to Project Lefty, you're a real one, I don't have any troubles with Mangle. I always find her to be really easy, and I had no trouble defeating her. I sent myself some more mangles, and on my second attempt I got the mangle icon, the first item of the day, but unfortunately, I don't care about colored icons. Two fights later, and my luck started to shine, the mangle suit dropped, how neat, I'm only missing her CPU, but I'll get it eventually. I sent myself a new animatronic, this time it was Baby, I somewhat hate her fights as they take so fucking long, but that doesn't mean Baby is hard, she is an extremely easy animatronic for me. and I successfully defeated her. Five fights later, and she dropped her colored icon. Anyways, I'll fight a new animatronic, Funtime Freddy, just so I don't die from boredom because of baby. Funtime Freddy fights are kind of entertaining, he isn't that difficult and the Bon Bon fight is really easy. And I defeated him with no trouble. 
almost one hour later and I wasn't getting anything, until, why the fuck am I only getting colored icons? 30 minutes later and something dropped, I swear to god if it's Funtime Freddy's colored icon aisle. Well finally, something good dropped, the first CPU of the episode, and I also leveled up to level 21, and got a good amount of buffs. Anyways let's fight Funtime Freddy with Balloon Boy's CPU, I mean, it's just BB, there's nothing to special or hard about him, and as expected, I defeated him. So, I want y'all to meet an absolute unit. x -Fets. He sent me a scrap baby, and I was bored so I gave it a shot. Anyways, so it's time for a boss fight. Why do I call x -Fets the absolute unit? Well, y'all see why as the episode continues. I don't find scrap baby to be difficult at all. Her first phase is a barring old baby fight. The second phase is a bit more interesting and fun, having to shock her on her haywires is a cool mechanic. And her final fight is just like a toy bunny fight. I successfully defeated her with no trouble. Yeah! X-Fred's the absolute unit sent me some more scrap babies, so I'll fight them. Why not? Four fights later this dropped. X Freds you are a fucking legend. So now that I have Scrap Baby's CPU, I'll get her suit when I fight all the bosses, which is not going to be on this episode. X Freds back at it again with Jack O'Bonnie, I'm quite surprised about his fight. The devs changed Jack O'Bonnie's sounds, like his grunts and his footsteps. I successfully defeated him. Two fights later and I got his colored icon. Yeah, moving on. x Fred sent me Cave and Cliff's Frost Bear, but I had to leave the encounter. I won't be focusing on skins just yet. x Fred's also sent me a Mangle and a Ferris Mangle. I only fought Ferris Mangle because of the Mangle CPU, and I successfully defeated both of them. I swear to god I don't know who x Freds is, I didn't even know he existed up until this point. And like our legend, x Freds needed a rest, so you won't see him anymore, not until Wednesday at least. So anyways, I'm on my own again. One fun time Freddy fight and I got his plush suit, crazy to think that this is my second plush suit of the episode. Anyways, I went after baby suit with mangle CPU. My theory being that if I'm missing a suit and a CPU from different animatronics and I combine them, I'll get a good chance at obtaining them. My theory was wrong. So let's go after Mega Blocks baby, and I gotta tell you this, her fight was so obnoxious and difficult, this animatronic could possibly be the most difficult one. Oh, never mind I guess. Literally one fight later and I got Lego baby, if only all battles went like this, I would have already completed the challenge. And the final drop of the day. 
8-bit baby colored icon. Honestly it looks really good. Remember how I said the final drop of the day? Well, I forgot to include baby's CPU, so this is now technically the last drop of the day. Just so y'all get an idea of how long I played the game in one day, I spent 5 fucking hours just on Monday. Neat. And the first day is now over. Back at it again with a mangle baby fight. I'll prove my theory to be correct. I'll get both items with this method. Well, just because it didn't work two times it doesn't mean my theory is bullshit. Oh look, level 22, and again a good amount of mods. Let's fight baby suit with 8-bit baby CPU, and I'll prove to you all that this theory indeed is correct. Well it's the first fight, you can't really expect that much. I fucking told you all, this theory works wonders, the ugliest FNAF animatronic is now mine. I told you all, thanks to this logic I now have both items, so remember guys. Fight separate items if you want to get both items. Continuing X Fred's legacy, I went after Jack O'Bonny. I'm still impressed how good the improvements are to the Jack O'Bonny fight, even though they are small, they are still pretty good. And I defeated him easily. Remember last episode struggles, one of them was Popgo's. He charged at me and appeared almost in front of me, giving me no time to react. Well, I gathered a lot of remnant milestones since then. So let's hope I actually catch him this time. If not, then he'll be my main objective for the challenge, like Springtrap and Creation were last episode. Finally, I successfully defeated him. Ten minutes later of me fighting Popgoes, he dropped his CPU, it's actually funny how easy his fight was, my only struggle was his charge, 8 minutes later and I got another drop, Jack O'Bonny's CPU. I'm getting lucky with my drops, hopefully I can keep this streak going, and sure enough, my luck was starting to shine, as I got Jack O'Bonny's suit, another character down. It's still pretty funny his giraffe neck. It's time to prove my logic once again. Mangle CPU with Popgo's suit. Y'all will see how this theory will work again. Well, not quite. So for the main quest of this episode, if you remember, Last episode's quest was getting Springtrap and Creation. We know how that went, so this episode's quest is getting a full lefty. So let's warm up by fighting one lefty today. His fight is a little bit challenging. My strategy is turning the flashlight during his fight. Just so that I can track him easily and be prepared for his haywires. Also some people tell me that using the mask during his haywires isn't necessary. But it makes me feel safe, I don't know why. Anyways, I successfully defeated him. Yeah! 
So let's go after a new character, the RNG God, Plush Trap. His fight isn't hard but real is heavily on RNG, but that's no trouble for me. Remember what happened with Toy Bonnie last episode? Well the exact same thing happened with Pop Goes Mangle, however, I didn't get anything this time. 20 minutes later and my theory was a success, I got the Mangle CPU, I have another animatronic completed and my theory was a success once again. 5 minutes later and this happened. Yeah. I only fought like 4 plush traps and he dropped his CPU so easily, and literally 2 minutes later and I completed plush trap, his suit dropped. By the way I just realized they changed plush traps plush suit icon to the beta one, instead of the one used when he released. Let's fight pop goes with balloon boy CPU, not a difficult fight at all, it's nice to rest with easy CPUs, I missed it. And as always, I defeated him so easily. So now we pretty much have all animatronics except the bosses, Pop Goes and Lefty, so let's start focusing with skins. I'll get all skins of their respective animatronics, so I'll get all Freddy's skins. Then I'll move to Bonnie's skins, then Blue Chicka skins and so on. So let's start with Shamrock Freddy. I actually forgot how aggressive Shamrock can be, and I nearly died once. But other than that, I actually had no trouble at all defeating him. And hey I leveled up to level 23 and surprisingly, I got mods, who would have thought, not long after. Shamrock dropped his suit, huh? It didn't take that long. Honestly I only like him for the nostalgia factor, and because green is my favorite color and he looks really cool. I bet everyone forgot about Popgoes, and I did too, until this happened, his suit dropped. How neat, I only need Balloon Boy's CPU and I'll have my collection almost completed, so let's move to the last Freddy skin, Firework Freddy, I don't really understand the hate this skin gets. It's a silly America skin. And I successfully defeated him. Two fights later and I got Firework Freddy's icon. It's been a really long time since I've gotten any colored icon. Let's start with the Bonnie skins. The first one being Easter Bonnie. Or shall we call it the Cum Bonnie? Okay sorry about that. Anyways, it's a bunny fight. It's supposed to be really easy. And indeed it was, and... Oh, this was my first try and I got Easter Bonnie suit. Well this is certainly unexpected but really poggers. I can now focus on the next Bonnie skin, Melted Chocolate Bonnie. I'll keep saying this for as long as I live. Melted Bonnie is better than the original Chocolate Bonnie. And I'll die defending this statement, and nothing changing my mind. Three fights later and I got Melted Chocolate Bonnie's icon. I really like his icon. It's greatly detailed and so well done. After a while I finally completed all Freddy's. Firework Freddy was mine. He is the most silly skin to date. And with that Freddy is finally completed. All suits in the CPU included. And with 4 hours and 55 minutes of this day. The second day was finally over. A new day and the pain continues. I can no longer feel my legs, but it's all for the grind. So let's start with the Chica skins. And the first one is Liberty Chica. The fight was not difficult at all. It was really easy, and I defeated her. The Legend the myth, the absolute unit. X-Freds is finally back with some plush traps and Jacko bunnies, 
but I already had them so I had to leave the encounters. However, he sent me the best balloon boy skin, Jetpack BB, and I wasn't focusing on any BB skins just yet, but fuck it, let's get this over with. And I successfully defeated Jetpack BB, one fight later, and I got one of the best skins to date, Jetpack BB. Xfreds you were fucking legend. Some minutes later and I saw him sending some ring mess to Foxy's. It's a free send so I might as well fight him. Also they added funny custom voices like Radioactive and Big Bad Foxy. Funniest <laughs> shit I've ever heard. Xfreds, my guy. I love you but this is too far, well, there's no turning back now, so let's might as well fight him. To this day, I fear a flaming spring trap, his eyes are so hard to see. And I have a bad time trying to see his eyes. So, I, unsuccessfully defeated him, I had to double check if his eyes were indeed red or not. Oh well, it's not the end of the world, and the game tried to make me feel better by dropping a new suit, Ringmaster Foxy's suit, Xfred's the legend, that's all I have to say. And now I have all Foxy skins, so Foxy is now completed. Flaming Springtrap second attempt, here we go. I can consistently defeat any animatronic, but I always struggle with Flaming Springtrap. And I successfully defeated him. And as an award I got this. Flaming Springtrap Suit. What the fuck? I thought it would take me a long time to get but apparently I was wrong. So hey, my third favorite skin is mine. And x heads back at it again with a new skin. This time is Chernobyl Springtrap. Way more easier than Flaming Springtrap. I successfully defeated him. x -freds. You're crossing the line here. You're on thin ice, pal. One more BS animatronic or skin and I'll find your ass. Never mind x -freds, you cool. Also send me deaf skin sent me a little bit. But I'm not allowed to get him just yet. So I had to deny the battle, but thank you my guy, you're a real one. After a lot of side skins, I finally returned to the main objective the first chocolate bonnie of the challenge, and there was no trouble defeating him. It's just a matter of time before I got his suit and I bet it's not going to take that long what did I say, I'm getting somewhat lucky with today's drops, in no time I'll complete all bonnies. Oh wait, this is it, I finally completed all the bonnies. Now all I need is to complete Baby, Balloon Boy, Chicka and Spring Trap for the core animatronics to be completed. I don't want to see this fuckers ever again, I'm not even kidding, but thank you Spoida, not really, also thank you too, I'm sorry I didn't pronounce your name, this goofy text to speech couldn't pronounce your name. Hey remember when I said I completed all Freddy skins? I lied. I completely forgot about Freddy Plus, and yes he is a skin, until I see a Freddy Plus CPU I will consider him a skin, I don't care if he is separate from all Freddy skins, he is a Freddy skin. 
one fight later and I got the Freddy plus icon, neat, and buckle up because we are going on an icon streak, next icon, Liberty Chica, I honestly prefer her icon more than her suit, second icon the flaming cupcake, poor creature, third icon is, oh wait, never mind, it's a suit, Liberty Chica is finally mine, I need two more Chica skins and I can complete her. 10 minutes later, and would you look at that, Freddy Plus is here, I'm surprised it didn't take that long, so I can finally say I have all Freddy skins, because again, Freddy Plus is a skin. Let's start with the next Chica skin, Little Shit Chica I mean, Little Red Chica, and her fight was a really fast one, no haywires at all. This thing is really creepy, it might be because of his eyes, but it's creepy nonetheless. So let's start with the BB grind, and the first one is, you know what, he doesn't deserve any commentary, know your place you piece of shit. Oh, level 24 with a good amount of buffs. I'm fucking glad I'm done with this shit, we can all agree he's the worst skin. So anyways, where were we? Oh right, little red chica, oh hey, the suit dropped, hey real question, since when did the cupcake's candle was on fire, genuine question, I don't remember seeing it lit on fire, another shitty skin, why, he doesn't deserve any commentary either, oh shit, I finally have a CPU, I can finally be free from that little shit, well, not really, well, I mean, the icon is way better than the skin, so let's start with another mediocre skin, Vendor Chica, you know, I originally liked her carnival music, but after hearing it multiple times, it became so fucking obnoxious, anyways I successfully defeated her. Funniest shit I've ever seen. Five minutes later and I got this, the Vendor Chica skin. Honestly, the skin doesn't really look that bad, it's not good, but it's not bad either, and now I have all Chica skins completed. And with 4 hours and 15 minutes on this third day, this day is finally over. Holy Jesus, what do we do? No one ever told us what to do, the only reason I took the job is because you never have to do anything! Come on Emilio, just one more day, you can do it. This day is gonna be a short one. Oh hell no, let's just cut to the part where I shock him, I saved y'all from seeing his horrendous face, let's start completing the baby skins, and we'll start with broiler baby. Not a difficult fight at all, but a pretty lengthy one at that, and I successfully defeated her. Five minutes later and this happened, her suit dropped, the first item of the day, how neat, now I only need two more skins of baby and I can complete her. Boncho, I wish you a very sincere fuck you, all jokes aside thanks for the send my guy, so let's fight the next baby skins, heart sick baby, as always easy but lengthy fight. Thirty minutes of fighting heart sick and her suit finally dropped, how neat, if I keep up the pace I'll complete baby in no time. And for the best baby skin, claw machine baby, I'm still shocked by how good this concept was implemented, but as always, lengthy fight.
I successfully defeated with no trouble at all and, excuse me, on my first try. Well this is certainly some luck I have, and with Claw Machine Baby being mine, I completed all baby skins, and baby is finally done. So let's start fighting Springtrap skins, since I already fought a full toxic Springtrap, there was no need for me to fight him again, so I fought him with Endo CPU. And it's nice to relax with some Endo fight. 20 minutes later and I got the toxic Springtrap skin, one Springtrap skin down, three more to go. Oh hey, I completely and rightfully forgot about you. What do you want now? I'm just glad I can move on from this piece of shit. Let's start fighting the tweeter community. Can I just say Clown Springtrap is the worst Springtrap skin? He's just so goofy but in a bad way. and I successfully defeated him. So let's complete the Balloon Boy collection by fighting Winner BB. I don't really understand the hate this skin gets, it's a good looking skin, and the lefty balloon is just so funny. Anyways it's just a BB skin, there's nothing hard about him, and I defeated the little shit. Thank you devs, really cool, after losing 2 hours doing some shit, I returned to the grind, and the game was really generous with me, as I got winner BB suit. I really like the goofy look of this skin, it's truly an amazing skin. Oh look, all BB skins are now completed, nice. And not long after that, Clown Springtrap was mine. It's unfortunate how I could complete the Spring Trap collection this episode, but we'll start the grind next episode. By the way, I completely forgot that Endo had some skins, so yeah, I'm sorry Endo, I'll get you next episode, and with just 3 hours, the 4th day was over. He's just standing there, menacingly! The final day is here, I can finally be free and get this challenge over with, besides, I'll only get a full lefty and end the challenge. Nothing wrong will ever happen. As long as I have my flashlight and mask, I'll be safe. So yeah, lefty, let's get this over with. Oh hello Love there. It. Well, Mr. Frostbear sent me a Bigfoot lefty. I mean, it's technically a lefty, so there's nothing wrong with me fighting him. So let's see how this first attempt goes. successfully defeated him. And literally one fight later I got this. Okay, the icon, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, well, thank you I guess, Bigfoot Lefty was mine. I won't have to fight Lefty ever again if I manage to get the CPU and suit on this day. Thank you Mr. Frostbear, you're a real one and a legend. So let's finish what we started. Lefty.
I'm getting too stressed for no reason at all. Let's see what I get in all my successful attempts. Oh neat, the icon. Not what I was looking for, but I'll take it. That was expected, nothing special again, third attempts and still no suit or CPU. Well, at least it's not like creation or spring trap from last episode, but that wouldn't be that bad either. I'm not expecting myself to get really lucky so why am I oh, um, lucky me I guess. And literally one more fight later and I got this. Lefty's suit, how great. I now have a full lefty, I'm surprised it didn't take that long, and also I now have the suit and the skin alongside the CPU. And with that, the challenge was finally over. So the challenge is finally over, I can now rest a bit and enjoy my success, here is all I got. Oh wait, I can't exactly show you, why, well? Because I always record the part where I show my animatronics at the very end. And if you're aware, there's a problem with Forsaken AR. If you open the game then your progress will most likely be erased. So yeah, I don't want to risk my account getting deleted, so I can't exactly show you the way I always do. But there will be a short showcasing everything I got in the challenge. Anyways I'll just show you the images of the items. Let's start with the suits. I got, Mangle, Funtime Freddy, 8-Bit Baby, Baby, Jacko Bunny, Plush Trap, Pop Goes, and Lefty. Then the CPU, I got Mangle, 8-Bit Baby, Baby, Funtime Freddy, Scrap Baby, Jacko Bunny, Pop Goes, Plush Trap, Balloon Boy and Lefty. Finally the skins, I got, Shamrock Freddy, Easter Bunny, Firework Freddy, Liberty Chica, Jetpack BB, Ringmaster Foxy, Flaming Springtrap, Toxic Springtrap, Melted Chocolate Bunny, Freddy Plus, Little Red Chica, Swamp BB, Frostbite BB, Vendor Chica, Broiler Baby, Heartsick Baby, Claw Machine Baby, Winner BB, Clown Springtrap and Bigfoot Lefty. If you're wondering when will the next part release, it'll be out by the end of July or early August. Thank you all for watching this video, please remember to subscribe and like so you don't miss any future uploads. See you all later gamers, peace.